Jopeke mapata ipapala santa malakata la bayante bolo dogodo Mete te boza te pele masi antotolo mama shanta bahakata la mante la balagada Lift your voice and magnify Le barada basala balagada 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 Manta bakata manse monde bote le baba shata la balabala balabala Ne borio to boko soto koporia da bada balia masante la balakata la bapre Mila katala mandela ba, mila katala mandela ba, mila katala mandela ba. There is no one like you, Lord. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Rendo saka masoto la masoto la masoto la masoto la masoto la masoto. Into lo mosa, mami ni mashala, makada ba la gada ba, ina masere bele 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 gada ba. Oh, we bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You have a seat. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I give you, Lord, I give you. 
give you just a minute. Give you my soul, give you my soul. I for you, I live for you. I love every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Lord, I'm your way, Lord, I'm your one more time. Lord, I give you, Lord, I give you my heart. Give you my soul, I give you my soul. I push you all the Lord. I'm going, going, 
going in the straight, pushing forward. Oh, the Lord. I am going, 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 going in the straight. Come on. Oh, the Lord. Going in, going in. Woo! Come on. Oh, the Lord. I am going, 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 going in the straight. I push you forward. Oh, the Lord. Let the letter reach you. Go in. Jesus. 
I said, may the word come alive in the name of Jesus. That's why you need to be hungry for the word of God. So your life is a reflection of your understanding. Listen, if you don't have understanding of certain things, you never do them. No matter who tries, how much you pray. Listen, if you enter an exam and they give you maths, maths or accounts, if I don't do accounts, you know you do accounts, you understand it? So it will be easy for you. I don't do accounts. I'll start remembering debt, debit, credit, le, uh, le, ledger. So I remember when I was in grade 9 bookkeeping, but it will be too late for me. <laughs> but hallelujah. But if they bring engineering here, oh, I'm telling math labs, I'll just begin to calculate and brought because it's in me. I've learned it, I've understood it, I've mastered it. Hallelujah. By electronics, it's in me. I've mastered it, I've, I've understood it. So anything you don't understand, you cannot partake. So, healing is ours, but you need to understand that God wants you healed. I need to remember that. I said, you must understand God wants you healed. Now, if you don't understand this, it will be impossible for you to be healed. The same way, if you don't understand that God wants to prosper, come on, listen, listen. God wants to prosper, and you are fully grounded, you are fully established in this. That me, I must prosper. My friend, it's a matter of time. You begin to see prosperity in the name of Jesus. As you begin to see prosperity in the name of Jesus. Listen, you must first be fully convinced. Fully persuaded. Fully assured that healing is the will of God for my life. You must hit the floor and say, God said it. I'm, I, I, I'm healed by stripes. And God said it. He took my infirmities. He carried my sicknesses. Hallelujah. If he took it, I don't have it. Hallelujah. It is first, you must be fully, fully convinced. Amen. I'm persuading you today. You are, you, are, you are receiving persuasion in the name of Jesus. He wants to fully persuade it that it is his will for you to be healed. Third John, verse 2. Third John, verse 2. Third John, Verses number two. Listen, the Bible is not just the Bible, the Bible is God talking to us. So every time you open the Bible, you have to say, God is talking to me right now. Yeah. Even where a thief is talking, God is talking there because it has been inspired. Because behind those words of a thief, there is the inspiration. Mm -hmm. The Lord it can talk there. <laughs> I declare. Do you know there's one time the Lord spoke to me while I'm reading names? Just give me names of the genealogies. And the Lord spoke to my heart just right there. This is, this, this is, God's, this is God's book. Amen, amen. Look at this. Beloved, beloved, beloved. I desire, or I wish, I wish, or I desire, above all things, second above all things, that you may prosper. That you may prosper. My question is this. Does God want to prosper? I said, does God want to prosper? Amen. Are you fully persuaded? Amen. Are you fully convinced Amen. that God wants to prosper? Amen. Therefore, you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. And he said, and be in good what? Healthy. My God. Good healthy is God's decision for you. Amen. Good healthy is God's decision for you. There is no way you can deny yourself to be healthy. Because your father wants you healthy. Listen, any form of disease, those watching me and those here, I decree it swallowed in the name of Jesus. Ah, I command it swallowed in the name of Jesus. Because he said, I want you to prosper, my daughter. And I want you in total healthy. Hallelujah. Even as, look at this, even as your soul prospers. My God. Even as your soul, again, my soul, that means even as my mind prospers. So listen, that's how we are teaching on a daily basis. Do you know why? We want to prosper your mind. We want to prosper or we want to renew your mind. When I say prosper your mind, I say renew your mind. We need to remove what was the wrong thinking and put you in the way thinking. Hallelujah. And put you in the God thoughts. Hallelujah. That God wants you what? Healed. My God. Amen. I said, my God. So can you see already here? He says, I wish a Bible thing that you may prosper. 
But how are you going to prosper? Even as your soul prosper. So can you see? Healing does not start in the morning. Healing starts in the mind. That's the last thing right there. Healing does not begin in the body because the power of God won't flow from your spirit if your mind is not convinced. Your mind is the force that pushes God's power out of your spirit. That's it. Your mind is the force that pushes God's power out of your spirit. God heals you from your spirit, but your mind, your mind is what draws God's power. Your mind draws God's power from within you into your body. Hallelujah. I declare this afternoon, any part of your body damaged, be healed in the name of Jesus. I said be healed in the name of Jesus. Because God wants you healed. I said God wants you healed. Anyone who came to Jesus for healing, there is never once Jesus told them to say, it's not your time. So there's no time. Today is your time. And now is your time to be healed. I don't care what is troubling you. Now is the time to be healed. I said, now is the time to be healed. All you need to do is believe you receive it. I said, believe you receive it. In the name of Jesus. So become fully, fully convinced. Wake up in the morning knowing God wants to be healed. Wake up in the morning knowing God wants to be prosperous. Listen. Never allow anyone to convince you otherwise. Say, Lord, healing is the will of God for my life. Say, Lord, healing is the will of God for my life. So, my daughter, God wants you healed. You must believe it. You must receive it. And you must be acquainted to it. And you must see yourself totally healed. And you must persuade yourself to be healed. Because God, he says, I desire that you may be healed. That you may be healed. Uh, hallelujah. When your mind is fully persuaded, your heart will begin to release life in the body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let's look at the will of God concerning healing. Acts 10, 38. Acts 10, 38. Acts 10, 38. Whether well, cancer, the Lord is healing you right now. Those who are watching, you are being healed also in the name of Jesus. Oh, my friend, you can be healed as the word is coming to you right now. Acts 10, 38. Acts 10, 30, number 8. The Bible says this. Acts 10, verses 3, 8. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, who went about doing good. Listen, the good you went to do is mentioned right now. Who went about doing good. So healing is good, hallelujah. Second, healing is good. So can you see God who wants you totally healthy in the name of Jesus? Who went about doing good and healing? Second, healing. Oh, second, oh, how many? 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 Oh. So how many is God healing today? Oh. But it's according to your faith. He went healing. Oh, that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. He went healing all. Oh, how many? Oh. That shows that there was never anybody who it was not God's will to heal them. There, there is not anybody whom it was not God's will to heal them. He went to heal how many? All. Oh, I prophesy. You are being healed in the name of Jesus. I said, you are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Do you know that angels are seated in this building right now? And angels are online right now. Those who are watching homes in their offices, wherever you are, the power of God is just right here. Very powerful, right here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So he went doing good and healing all. He healed all, he healed all that were sick. Look at Luke chapter 5. I'm showing you the willingness of God to heal you. It is the will of God for you to be healed. So, Paragudu, if you came today and said, Jesus, can you heal me today? He would tell you, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. It is my will. It is my will. Many people are begging God. Many people, they are crying. Oh God, please do something. God said, don't, he said, don't beg me. It is my desire. It is my willingness to heal you. For even before you tell me, I want to heal you. Hallelujah. Even before you ask me how I want to heal you. But listen, it doesn't happen by just God wanting. 
It happens because you believe. Hallelujah. Your faith is what draws the power of God. Luke 5. Look at this. Luke 5, 12. Luke 5, 12. The Bible says this. Luke 5, 12. Look at this. We start here. Scripture says, <laughs> And it came to pass, when Jesus was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy. That means this man from head to toe is covered with leprosy. Listen, I don't care what, what has covered your lungs or covered your, your kidneys or covered your thyroid glands. The power of God is in you right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know what, what has covered your back or your, your joints. The power of God is coming in you right now. Hallelujah. Whatever has covered you, there's a power to heal it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. This man is totally covered. We can say, last stage, stage five, is covered with this thinking disease. Last stage, very often, stinking. But look at me. I don't care what is thinking in you. There's a power to cleanse in the name of Jesus. Uh, tonight, today, there's a power to cleanse in the name of Jesus. And as I'm preaching the word of God, the power to cleanse is coming into you. Hallelujah. Whether your eyes are having problems, power to cleanse coming in your eyes in the name of Jesus. Oh, my friend. There's a cleansing power in the word of God. Look at this. So this man is covered, full of leprosy. My God. It's again full of leprosy. <laughs> hey, 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 look at this. Who seen Jesus fell on his face and besought him or asked him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. That means the man is convinced that he can heal, but he's not convinced it is his will to heal him. Why is he coming to Jesus? He believes that he can heal. That's why he's coming. But he doesn't believe it is his will to heal him. Listen, if you, all you believe is God can heal, you won't be healed. You must believe God will heal you. Hallelujah! Many believe God can heal. I can assure you, there is nobody that doesn't believe God can heal. Everybody believes that God can heal, but not everybody believes that God will heal them. Hallelujah. That's why I decree in the name of Jesus. Anything wrong in your body, be healed now in Jesus' name. Listen, it is the will of God for you to be healed. It is the will of God for me to be healed. But don't just come saying God heals. You must believe God is healing me. And he's healing me right now. Hallelujah. Not tomorrow. I say God is healing you. He's healing you right now in the name of Jesus. Whether you are in the bed, in the hospital, my father is healing in that bed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because it is the will of God. So the man is saying, look at the question of the man. Lord, if you will, if you will, you can make me clean. <laughs> Look at the willingness. Even before he finish, he stretched already his hand. Even before the man could finish talking, Jesus is already stretching the hand. Listen, I see my father stretching his hand already in your body. Even before you pray, he's stretching his hand in your body already right now. Hallelujah. To cure you right now and to cleanse you in the name of Jesus. He's already stretching his hand. His hands are ready to heal. Ah, see that hand right now on your body. See that hand right now on your stomach. See that hand right now on your brain. See that hand right now on your bones, on your joints. See it, see it. The, the joints are coming together in the name of Jesus. I rebuke pains in your body. Hallelujah. I rebuke anything that is not of God. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Look at the willingness. Look at the willingness. I want to show you the willingness. <laughs> Verse 13. And he put forth his hand. This looked like something you don't want to touch. Because it's thinking, producing powers. 
I don't care what does what does consume you. The power of God will consume it in the name of Jesus. I said the power of God is consuming it in the name of Jesus. Is it your kidney that has gone wrong? Receive healing in the name of Jesus. And he put forth his hand and touched him. <laughs> Look at this. The man is saying, Lord, if you are willing, then Jesus will put his hand and touched him. Please <laughs> speak volumes. Hallelujah. He just lay hand there. Speak volumes. Speak his willingness to touch you. Hallelujah. My God. Whether you are in the village, he will touch you. Whether you are in town, you will touch you. Whether you are in the best hospital, you will touch you. Whether you are in the poor hospital, you will touch you. Hallelujah. He can touch you if your faith can reach to him. Hallelujah. Ah, brother. Look at him. He speaks volumes already. He's already saying, ah, wait, wait, I'm already here. I'm already here. <laughs> Maybe the man has begun to sense some power already. Hallelujah. And Jesus spoke a word. Look at this. He spoke a word. He says, he says, he says, I will heal a masandalaba. I will heal. Listen, this is a forever settled word. If you ask Jesus today, Jesus, can you please heal me? He says, I will. I will. I'm willing. Jesus, uh, can you please? No, not, no, not that can you. Can I? I am willing. I will. Hallelujah. Then he says, be clean. Hallelujah. And immediately, immediately, the leprosy left or departed from him. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Any leprosy in your body is living right now in the name of Jesus. Any leprosy in your lungs is living right now in the name of Jesus. Any problem in the power, in the power, in the power, in the power that be healed. Any problem in the intestine, be healed. Any problem in the small intestine, in your stomach, I command acid levels become normal in the name of Jesus Christ. Any problem in your lungs, be healed. Breathe normal in the name of Jesus. Be strengthened now. Why? Because it says, I will. I will. Second, I will. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. You can go be healed on that place because Jesus said, I will. Now, if he said, I will, then the, the, the contradiction is over. Stay in the peace and receive the healing. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay in the joy and receive the healing. Hallelujah. You can go and begin to party now. Party, receiving the healing. Party, doing your work. Party, planning for the future because he says, I will. I will. May my God touch you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See, the child is rejoicing. It's a child of God. He says, I will. It's like, I will. What if, what if you find Jesus Christ today and you ask him to say, hey, I want some healing here. What, 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 what is the material? I will. Because remember, Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he told this man is going to tell you today the same in the name of Jesus. It doesn't change. Hallelujah. So I want you to go convinced that Jesus wants you healed again. Jesus wants me healed. Because he wants to totally heal you. You must go be convinced and believe uh, it is the will of God to heal you in the name of Jesus. It is the will of God to heal you. I see your body change in the name of Jesus. Your blood is changing in the name of Jesus. Whatever was wrong is coming together in the name of Jesus. Whatever was upside down is coming up in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. I said, oh my God. I'm persuaded. I said, I'm persuaded. I said, I'm persuaded. I said, I'm persuaded. I said, I'm persuaded. He says, I, I will. I will. So my brother God is saying, I will. Don't panic. I will. I will. I will. I will. Second, I will. That is the will of God for you. This is Constantine. He says, I will. I will. Go and party now. Because we heard from the Lord already. We have heard from the Lord. I have heard from God that it is His will for me to be healed. So I can go and begin to party now. I can go and begin to take my pizza. Hallelujah. Expecting my healing to manifest because he says I will. Hallelujah. No more worry anymore. Hallelujah. Because he said, I will. Thank you, Jesus. Look at it amplified what he said. I love it. 
It amplified, it said it this way. Oh, this is powerful, my friend. Look at what the Bible says. Keda Bazandala, amplified. Luke chapter 5. Verses 13 in the amplified. He says this. Let me start from the store. While he was in one of the towns, there came a man full. Okay, as you can amplify it, explain, covered with leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and implored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, if you are willing, this has been the question of everybody in the world. Lord, are you willing? He said, the father says, Rose, I'm willing. Receive my healing. Hallelujah. <laughs> he says, he says, he says, Lord, if you are willing, Lord, if you are willing, you are able to cure me and make me clean. Look at the response. And Jesus reached out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. <laughs> I am willing. One version says, Of course I will. Of course I will. So you can go to the knowing, he said, of course I will. Of course I will, hallelujah. Of course I will. Then he said, be cleansed. And the leprosy departed or left him. My God, listen, whatever was wrong in the body is leaving you right now in the name of Jesus. I say, it's leaving you right now in the name of Jesus. You must become fully persuaded. Fully what? Persuaded. It is the will of God for me to be healed. Close your eyes. Say it is the will of God. Say that it is the will of God for me to be healed. It's like it is the will of God for me to be healed. Hallelujah. It is the will of God for me to be healed. Fully persuaded. Fully convinced. No doubt at all. It's like I'm not a doubter. I'm a believer. Fully persuaded. Fully convinced. Fully convinced. I'm fully convinced. Healing belongs to me. I'm fully persuaded. Hallelujah. I'm, listen, you, you can walk out of your chair just saying that. I'm fully convinced that it is his will. The power of God can hit your chair. Hallelujah. And you can wake up right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, this is powerful. Hallelujah. So again, I'm fully convinced. I'm going to be blessed. Amen. 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 Ay, 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 ay. Are you being blessed? Amen. Look at this. It says, I will. What did he say? I will. Did he say I will? Yes. Look at this other verse. <laughs> I will. What did he say? I will. Look at this other verse. I want to convince you that God wants you what? Healed. I see you healed in the name of Jesus. As I see you healed in the name of Jesus. It is the will of God for me to be healed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at Matthew. Matthew chapter 9 verses 35 Matthew 9 35 you are able to see that it is the will of God for you to be totally healed to be what? totally healed my God Matthew 9 are you there? 35. And Jesus went out all the cities, sorry, all, the all the cities and village, teaching in their synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, my God. And healing every, sorry, every, not some, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Has he changed? I said, has it changed? No. If you went healing all the sickness and all the disease among the people, 
What is he doing today? He's doing the same because Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and what? Forever. It is the will of God for you to be healed. It is the will of God for you to be healed. It is the will of God for you to be healed. It is, and listen, you don't need to heal yourself. <clears throat> don't try to produce it. Because that was why many people are struggling. They want to produce healing. Uh -uh. Just be convinced and believe you receive it. It is God who produces the healing. You don't need to work it out. You don't need to put yourself in it. Just stand in that belief and conviction and begin to say that by the stripes of Jesus I'm healed. And begin to call yourself healed and call your body healed. Hallelujah. And expect the healing power to manifest, and God will cause the healing to produce. Hallelujah. You just stay there. You don't need to come to produce it. So again, I don't need to produce it. <laughs> that is his responsibility. It is his responsibility. It is not yours. Yours is expected to be healed. Listen, how it will happen, you don't know. Take your right hand again, do like this. I want to show you. Put you closer to your mouth. Do like this. What did you feel? Did you see it? But is it here already? Well, you did something that pushed it. But here is it. Do again. What did you feel? Did you see it? No. Can you see it? No. But you did something that pushed it for you to feel it. Mm -hmm. The same way healing is here right now. Amen. And your faith is what pushes it. Hallelujah. All you must do is push it by your faith. Push it by your saying. Push it by your praising God. Push it, push it by thanking God. Push it by calling it to a healing. Hallelujah. Push it. Now good. It is there. Push it. How do you push it? Praise it. How do you push it? Call yourself healed. It's there. Just as you did, you pushed pressure in the air, which made you to feel it. The same way, when you say, I'm healed, you're pushing healing in your body, hallelujah. And very soon you're going to feel your body healed. What healed you didn't see, hallelujah. Because it's God who does the work in the name of Jesus. I say, it is God who does the work, hallelujah. You can never explain how God healed you. You only enjoy the healing. Are you going to enjoy the healing? Praise God. I said, praise God. Something is happening already in your body right now in the name of Jesus. I said, something is happening already in your body in the name of Jesus. Oh, my friend. Something is happening already in your body. Something is happening. It's like something is happening. How many did he heal? Oh. Matthew 8. <laughs> he healed them all. He healed every disease. He healed every sickness. No? It's like he healed. He healed every sickness. He healed every disease. There was no one who was left. He healed. That means it is the will of God to heal all of us. You never have a problem in the name of Jesus. Because you have a second, I have a healer. Confess now and I say, close your eyes. Second, I have a healer. He lives in me. He heals my body. Therefore, I can never be sick. Let's say Matthew 8. No, let's go to Exodus 15-26. Exodus 15 26. Look at this. Exodus 15 26. Look at this. Exodus 15 26. He said, And he said, If you did diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, and will do that which is right in his sight, that means you believe him, and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. Look at this. The Lord says, I will put none of these diseases upon you. 
which I brought upon the Egyptian. Hallelujah. Why? I am the Lord that heals you. <laughs> Close your eyes. Say it out. Say, Lord, you are the Lord who heals me. Close your eyes. Say that again. Lord, you are the Lord who heals me. Say it again. Lord, you are the Lord who heals me. Who heals me. He says, I am the Lord who heals you. Come on, you've got the doctor, hallelujah. I am the Lord who mend you. So may the Lord mend you right now. May the Lord mend you right now. If your blood has got issues, may God cure it in the name of Jesus. If your body has got issues, may God cure it in the name of Jesus. Your thyroid is being cured right now. Any problem in your body is being corrected right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am the Lord who heals you. Amen. Close eyes, confess it. Say, Lord, you, you are the Lord, the Lord who, heals who heals me. You are, you are my healer. Lord, you are my healer. Lord, you are my healer. Say it again, Lord, you are my healer. Keep saying it, Lord, you are my healer. Lord, you are my healer. Keep saying it louder. Lord, you are my healer. You are the one who heals me, Lord. You are the one who fixes me. Thank you for fixing my brain. Thank you for fixing my joints. Thank you for fixing my lungs. Thank you for healing my veins. Thank you for healing my endothelial layers. Thank you for healing my joints. Thank you for healing, Lord, my blood. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the Lord who cures me. You are the Lord, confess it for two minutes. You are the Lord who cures me. Keep saying that. You are the Lord who cures me, Lord. You are you are the Lord. Say it louder. You are the Lord who cures me. You cure all my diseases. You are, you are the Lord. The Lord who cure me. Who cure me. Lord, you cure all my diseases. You are the Lord who cure me. I prophesy healing in your body in Jesus' name. I declare healing in your body in the name of Jesus. Ah. I'm gonna convince God what to heal. I'm gonna persuade God what to heal. Lord, you are the Lord who heals me. You are my healer. God is changing things in bodies right now. I command your heart's function normal in the name of Jesus. I speak strength in your heart, strength in your heart, strength in your heart. Strengthen your bones, strengthen your heart, strengthen your lungs, strengthen your kidneys. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Strengthen your back, be strengthened, be healed. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, you are the Lord who cures me. You can sit in a chair and confess this place for one hour. The power of God will flow in your body. Lord, you are, not in the heart, just confessing in faith. Lord, you are the Lord who cures me. You are the Lord who made me. You are the Lord who fixes me. You are the one who heals me. You are the one who fixes me. You are my fixer. You are my fixer. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Begin to thank Him. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Lift your voice and thank Him. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Kamasudi Anatena. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for fixing me. Thank you, Lord, for curing me. Thank you, Lord, for curing me. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank Him for healing your body. Thank you, Lord, for healing my body. You are the Lord who cured me. You are the Lord who cured me. Thank you, Lord, for curing me. Thank you, Lord, for healing me, Lord. You are, you are the Lord who cures me. Who cures me. Who cures me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. Lord, you are the one who cures me. You are the one who cures me. You are the one. You are the one who cures me. You are the one. You are the one who cures me. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord, my healer. Oh, thank you. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. I appreciate you for healing. I appreciate the Lord for divine healing. Lord, you are my healer. Lord, you are my healer. Thank you for being my healer. Thank you for curing me, Lord. Thank you for curing me, Lord. 
You are the Lord who cure me. You are the Lord who fixes me. Thank you, Lord, for curing me. In Jesus' name. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. How many are blessed? Oh, it is the will of God for you to be healed. It is the will of God for you to be healed. Begin to thank God for tomorrow's service. Walk around the building and pray in tongues. Walk around the building. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Lord, you are my healer. Pray. 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 Pray.